Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to teach you how you can install the Boost Libraries and after that how you can configure the Visual Studio to run the Boost Libraries from your Windows platform. In this video, I will show you how you can build the static and the dynamic libraries for the Boost and the difference in between the static and the dynamic libraries is that the program should need the static libraries at the compile time. Uh, for example, if you are building uh, some program, so you have to import the static libraries and then you can make the executable of this program. And for the dynamic libraries, the uh, program should need the dynamic libraries at the runtime for example you have you can generate the executable file and after that you, when you are going to run the executable file then your executable file will look for the dynamic library so this is how the static and the dynamic libraries will work so now let's move on my computer screen and please watch this video until end and make sure you didn't skip any steps so let's go to install the boost please open your chrome and uh, from the chrome browser you have to just type boost here first we are going to download the boost libraries and you have to go the latest version and next you have to download this zip file from here for the windows uh, now it's downloaded next open this uh, zip file inside the folder where it is downloaded and it is in downloads next we are going to extract this zip file so i'm going to extract it with the winrar and uh, i'm going to extract it in my c folder uh, but you can extract it anywhere you want you just click ok and yes now it is start extracting uh, now the extraction is done we will have to go inside the c directory and uh, it is here we have to go inside it next we have to build it and for this open your terminal and uh, go to your folder where you have extracted the boost so it's in c boost and the next thing to build the boost library first we have to call the bootstrap command and uh, you have also specified the Visual Studio Code version you have. I have the Visual Studio Code 2019. If you have 2017, so you have to give the specific number here for Visual Studio 2019. It's 142. So if I press enter, it is start building the tool set for the Visual Studio Code 2019. And uh, as you can see, it is done. Bootstrapping is done. And to build, run B2. So we do the same thing. We just type this command and we press B2 and we press enter and now it is start building. So it will take some time. I am just going to fast forward this video. So uh, the build is done and you can see here the Boost C++ libraries were successfully built. Make sure you didn't get any error during the building process. If the uh, building process is successful, you will get this message in the end and you have to copy and paste these paths inside the path of the environment variables i will show you how you can do it you have to just press window and you have to go here edit the environment variables and in the environment variables and in the path you have to give the path for example here for your boost libraries here you have to just copy the same path p boost and c boost you just have to copy these paths and paste it inside your environment variables if i go into the stage folder and if i go into the lib as you can see here we have uh, all the files with the dot lib extension it means we have successfully built the uh, boost with the static library and next we are going to see how we can build the dynamic libraries of the boost and to build the dynamic libraries we have just to use this command b2 and uh, we have to specify the build directory and address model the architecture we are using i am using air 64 with architecture and threading should be multiple and build type should be complete and uh, minus minus is stretch directory uh, you can uh, give this path similarly like i give here and next we have to define the tool set and here we have to define the microsoft visual studio version which we are using and have installed in our PC and I'm using the 19 uh, Visual Studio 19 so I have to put the same number here 14.2 and minus J and this is the number of CPUs in your PC to make the build process fast and uh, in my PC I have 12 CPUs so if you have more you can put more number here and uh, if you want to build it for different version of the Visual Studio you have to replace it for example you have to replace it 14.1 for the visual studio 2017 and for 2015 with 14.0 but i have visual studio 2019 so i just put 14.2 so if i press enter here as you can see the building process is going to start again and now this time it 
is building the DLL libraries for me. Uh, so the whole building process took few minutes and uh, so have some patience and in the end again the boost libraries were built successfully and uh, again you have to copy and paste this part in the environment variables and uh, at this time we have built our libraries in stage x64 lib so you have to copy and paste this part inside your uh, environment variables so that uh, in this way you can be able to use the dll files so if i go back to my stage folder a new folder is created x64 so if i go inside this folder again lib and as you can see in this folder i have both the dynamic libraries and the static libraries so in this way you can build the dynamic libraries and also the static libraries so this is the whole procedure to build the libraries and next we are going to see how we can configure the visual studio to run these libraries from inside the visual studio uh, to configure the visual studio open your visual studio i have visual studio 2019 so just type here and run it as an administrator if you want and next we are going to create an empty project and uh, the empty project should be empty and and click on next and name it like who's test and uh, click on create and uh, a new project is created here and change it to the release and change it to x64 because we have the libraries with the x64 version and our architecture is also x64 next we have to configure the visual studio so click here and go into the properties and go into the vc++ directories and here external include directories and click here and click on edit and here you have to add the boost path and for this you have to click here and you have to click here and uh, you have to go the boost folder where you have built it it this is the folder and you have to just click on select folder click ok apply and ok next we are going to add the source file here and a new item and it should be simple cpp file and uh, it is created here now we are going to test our boost library you have to type include here it should be include and you have to include the boost as you can see here and uh, you have to include for example the shared pointer from the boost here you can type this and next we are going to include the io stream library you can simply type here again include uh, io stream and press enter and next we are going to create our main function and inside this main function we are going to create the shared pointer and the shared pointer is inside the boost and you have to type the shared pointer and we have to define the type of the shared pointer for example it's int and next we have to name the shared pointer i just name it ptr and uh, you have to create this pointer as a new and int this is it next we are going to store some value inside this pointer and i am going to store 10 for example and next we are going to uh, print this pointer and for this you can simply type std and pointer and uh, here we are going to print our pointer and in the end it should be end of line e and d l that's it so here i missed the c out you can put it here this is it so this is the ptr and this is it now if i run my program so as you can see the build is successful and it is printing the pointer 10 uh, so this is how you can install and configure the boost libraries in window and inside the visual studio code so if you are new on my channel please press the bell icon and also subscribe my channel to get the updates of the new uploads so see you next time bye bye